Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Final Cut Pro Tips and Skills. So today I'll be sharing with you guys a few tips, actually three of them, make your still image or clips to look more dynamic. So first one will be zoom in and out. So you create a keyframe at the start of the video, go to the end and Remember to go back a little bit like a frame and then create another keyframe if you like and you can always change the scale at the start or at the end depending you want to zoom in or zoom out. So if you want to zoom out, you can always change the scale at a little bit higher than 100%, around 110% at the start and at the end it's already 100% so you don't have to change anything and it's zooming out very steadily and since it's a very slow clip it's a very gradual change. So if you want to make it more dramatic, a little bit more significant, you can always shorten the clip like me to make it like three seconds. So yep, similarly, you create a keyframe at the start and change. If you want to have a zoom in effect, you can increase the scale at the end of the clip. So the clip is zooming in. That's the first way to do this. The second way to do that would be going to the little box here and choose crop and choose cam burns. You see there are two boxes. You can always change the size of the window. And the green one is the start and the red one is the end. You can always switch it like this. And you can always change the end. So if you want to create a zoom in in one, the end is smaller than the start. So you click this button, yep, it's zooming in. So if you want to make it bigger, you can always change the size of the window. For Cambrons, it's actually very easy if you want to change it to zooming in or zooming out. So you just click this button top left hand corner and it's already changed from zooming in or zooming out. So for Cambrons, another one is you can always change the window size. And for simplicity, I'm going to just change this like this. So you can zoom into a very specific object or a part of the clip. It's very simple. So the second skill I'm introducing to you guys today is to create a pen. So this panning look, I'm gonna have a very simple one at the start. So uh, for this clip, the domino is going from right to left and then left to right. So I'm going to have a very simple panning from right to the left. I'm going to create two markers to mark where is the starting point of this domino and where is the ending part of this going to the left motion. So I'm going to scale in a little bit, like to zoom in a little bit and change this position to be exactly at the domino, which is going to the left. And then at the start of the marker, I'm going to create a keyframe and then go to the end, I'm just gonna change the position all the way to the left. And it's a very simple technique and this creates a very good looking pen. And if you want to make this a smoother one, you can always go to transformation and right click on this thing, choose linear for both points. And then when you play back, it's going to have a very smooth panning from right to the left kind of motion. So this one creates a very stable camera movement for a very uh, steady and still clip. And for the next part, I'm going to create something more fancy. So I'm going to reset everything. And then I'm going to create a panning movement from right to the left, go down and go to the right. So I've created four keyframes so I'm going to choose transform and then scale in to a little bit bigger size. So there's a more dramatic and more dynamic camera movement. And you can always drag your clip like this. So to position the screen and the frame, everything. And for this one, go to the first marker, create a keyframe and go to the second marker. You just drag it all the way to the left and remember you have to maintain a very straight line so please take down the y-axis value i've already taken down for this case it's always negative 902.2 so yep i manually type this and then 
for the second part i'm just gonna change the y axis and maintain the x axis so i'm just gonna drag it down and uh, that and that create a panning movement from up to bottom and then remember to change to linear for all three points to create a smooth and steady panning so the last part i'm just gonna change the x axis and all the way to the end where the domino falls and yep it's a very simple one and creates a very dynamic shot and the last technique would be to create a rotate so this one i've already enlarged it because the resolution is a awkward one which doesn't really fit my timeline so i've already increased the scale to 118 percent and it's a very long clip of one minute plus so i'm just gonna fast forward the clip to around 900 over percent yep so the clouds are moving and yeah i think I have to increase a little bit more so the clouds are moving a little bit faster and then i'm gonna zoom in here and since it's a clip that's already zoomed in so you have to keep in mind of the actual scale at the start which is 118 i'm gonna scale in and create a keyframe at the start and rotate also create a keyframe don't rotate too much because sometimes it's not very good looking i'm going to go a few frames to the right and change back the original scale which is 118 and rotation to be zero so this create a very fast rotate effect if you want to have a very slow one you can always click right click on the clip and choose show or animation and drag the keyframe to the right a little bit longer like that and this create a very good looking gradual rotate kind of effect and uh, yep it's very simple and effective for your vlog your documentaries your music video everything so you want to create another keyframe rotate a, a little bit more create a little bit of yeah increase the scale and rotation and everything so for me i can always rotate twice or three times depending whichever direction you want to go so this clip i'm gonna rotate from right to the left left to the right rotate two times actually i'm gonna shorten the clip and just change the rotation a little bit further and scale in a little bit more so ultimately i'm gonna create a very dramatic rotating kind of effect and yeah please remember to render your video because sometimes my video is a little bit laggy because i have not fully rendered them so to see a very obvious flip or rotation you can always increase the actual scale and rotation percentage and keep in mind to zoom in a little bit further because sometimes there's a black screen at the end if you guys want to create an even more dramatic one let me reset everything and change back the scale to 108 and create a keyframe for scale law and rotation so yeah you just go to the middle of the clip and increase the scale to a lot 300 over percent and change the rotation till it's upside down and go to a few frames later change back the original scale and change the rotation to 360 why not zero because when it's zero it's going back to the original rotation which is not an anti-clockwise ones and for this one there are a lot of black screens in between so i'm just gonna right click on this clip and then show all animation and just scale in a little bit on every bits and pieces to make sure that the actual clip is covering the whole screen and once it's all done you can see that it's a very cool flip rotation and that's all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this and if there are other skills that you guys want to learn please drop a comment and like my video today check out my channel as always bye bye